is 10 0. Chris Hansen here of Hansen versus Predators to catch a predator and have a seat with Chris Hansen. I'm going to need all of you to have a seat right over there and listen to the 10 0 podcast. Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, the ponies, surprise, a big deep potato here. No, it, it's Kevin Hart. Cole, who's Cole? Tom and Cole. Cole, who the fuck? See, Cole? See how Michael and Tom have nice, simple, classic names? Cole? Whatever. So, Mike, Tom. <laughs> Oh, I hear you started, uh, three of you started this 10-0 podcast on Spotify. And you guys have discussed blood sport at length. Master Grant here with a special message for everyone over there at the 10-0 podcast on Spotify. Specifically, I wanted to talk to Tom. I understand you have an unhealthy obsession with Jean-Claude Van Damme. You think that he can beat anybody in a fight. Not true. This Belgian title that he came over here is worth about as much as a Belgian waffle. Welcome to the Ten Zero Podcast. If you are easily offended, hate movies, etc., you can fuck off. Give it up for the six titties that run this show. Mike, Tom, Cole, come on, y'all, let's go. Let's go. So well, here we are. We are live, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Welcome. Thank you guys so much for coming out here. Yeah, hey, out with very us. much appreciate it. And uh, talking paranormal. There's Martin. You look happy as shit, dude. I love it. <laughs> you can't hide money. Sugar daddy. Slow it down. That sounds all Frank's money. <laughs> I gotta get me one of those. <laughs> uh, I'm actually peru uh, what is it? Go perusing the nursing homes as we speak. Nice. nice. Uh, yeah. I got my profile out there. Nice. Perfect. Some sweet stuff. This is the perfect area to do it into because they are everywhere. Mm -hmm. Sugargrannies.com. I know. People have uh, to be really old in this state. Old and yeah. used. Oh, those are my favorite. Be <laughs> 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 writing this down <laughs> for later. Yeah. All right. Well, let's start with introductions. We'll start like we're dealing poker here. Introduce yourself, sir. Uh, my name is Frankie, and the last name would be Frank. And I am the lead investigator for the Crossover Discoveries. Thirty-two years as a paranormal investigator. Wow. That means I have no life whatsoever. <laughs> I was five when you started doing that, just so you know. Yeah. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> so was I. <laughs> I'm Jenna Perry. I am the demonologist on the team. It's kind of scary. <laughs> yeah, it is scary. Yeah. If shit starts moving in here, I'm fucking out, just so you know. I didn't even know that. Mm -hmm. You find out something new. <laughs> I'm Jeremiah. Everyone calls me Bullfrog. Um, they consider me the the lighter energy of the group, so that's that's my job, I guess you would say. In, in the man and virtual world, if you're the lighter energy, what does that make me? Oh, <laughs> uh, you were looking kind of heavy when I'm, I saw you. The, the gray. You're the gray. Yeah, yeah I'm the I'm, a, I'm the comic relief. So. We throw you in the room to make sure if it's dangerous. That we push you yeah. in there. Yeah. We'll handle that we, we, we just understand that they see you coming, we're fucked. <laughs> hey, you can't say that word on there, can you? No, you can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can fuck say whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck you. yeah, go ahead and celebrate it. We are I not was, censored. I was used to many years of being on Stern where I nope. couldn't do it, and I was always costing nope. the money. And he'd be like, oh, no, 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 Marty, you can't say that word. And then, oh, that's right, then he went to Sirius, and it was... Fuck this, that, and the other fuck. Yeah. yeah. I bet you're excited right now. You look yeah. excited. excited. What's holding your camera up? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Hey, we're live. Oh, yeah. sorry, guys. As long as it's nothing naked, we're good. All right. We're good to go. He can't promise. He's That's not wearing fine. pants. Probably. I love that. We'll talk later, Martin. <laughs> that, that gray sweater that Jenna's wearing, I, I think I let her borrow that. <laughs> nice. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you on cameo now? It looks a little tight. I bet on he's cameo. still on that. He's still on. Oh. Is he on cameo? Mind. I think he's on cameo now. Yeah, you doing cameo? cameo? 
Yeah. Yeah. So if you want him to say sexually inappropriate things to you, yeah. there's an opportunity I'm right now. To, I'm about to max out my credit card. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it too. I believe I've, it. I've been to Comic Cons where guys have asked me to. To, uh, Stop it! Nuts. Really? And oh, like, for sure. And I've been like, "All right, well, it's, it's going to cost you five hundred bucks." Like, okay. like, no like, shit. You know what that makes you? I don't care. Like, <laughs> I'm not yeah. You're now a like, working woman. Guy, I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> and guys pay it five hundred bucks, and I punch them right in the nuts. That's amazing. Holy shit! Five hundred bucks to punch them in the nuts. I don't get it, I, man. I don't get it either. Yeah. I really don't. But we good for, for you. I'd pay you 500 bucks to do something else in my nuts, but it ain't going to be fucking punching. <laughs> <laughs> now it's a date at this point. Yeah. There you go. yeah. <laughs> All right. Could be like a headrest. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are falling off the rails. We uh, yeah. okay. We go okay. off the rails. I love it. <clears throat> all right. So how did you guys all meet? How did this get started? I guess that's my biggest. I've been wondering that for days. All right, boys. I think, Frank, I think Frank stalked us all somehow. Yeah, that's what it was. Obsessively shadowing. Not... I, I need friends. <laughs> why, why don't we let Bullfrog tell this one? Yeah. Well, like, I, well, I met Frank uh, just happenstance. I was just walking down the street. Um, I, there was a bar that was open. I normally don't frequent the bar during the day, but I was You're like, seriously making it, it sound like I needed friends. I, I needed friends <laughs> that day, and I made a good one. We we hit it off as soon as we met. He told me about his. Uh, his history in the paranormal, and I've always been interested in it. Had a lot of things happen to me when I was younger, uh, paranormal wise. So uh, we hit it off. We were both in the same boat uh, in our lives, and uh, we decided. He, he ended up calling me later on, telling me he was like, "Hey, I'm I'm a paranormal investigator. Would you like to come on a on a show and and do some stuff with me?" So I was like, "Hell yeah, let's go!" So that was a good time. I appreciate that. And then me. Oh, I, I forgot you were even there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god cool. <laughs> it's I'm fine sorry. i met uh jenna i met jenna there was a uh, friend of ours a mutual friend of ours on facebook and he was going through some tough times um he's talking you know very almost suicidal type thing mm -hmm. and, and i saw her you know console him mm -hmm. right and we were looking for a strong female person to be on our show with us at the time and as soon as i saw that i reached out to her and i was like hey are you interested in this stuff and she's like this has been my life's dream forever so, it, I mean, everything worked out the, the way it was supposed to. And Martin came in because Frank and Martin were both stuntmen. Uh, they worked together as stuntmen. So I think that's cool as hell. Yeah. And, and now we're friends, unfortunately. It's great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, 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 I inflicted I, 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 everybody. I Frank a happy birthday on Facebook. And then he, hey, would you want to be a part of my show? I'm like. Oh, uh, really? He's like, I'm tired <laughs> of fucking Paracon, so yeah, yeah, I guess I'll do something. Yeah. <laughs> and now it's awesome. We're like family. Yeah, yeah. We're all that's cool. awesome. Now we're one big dysfunctional, dysfunctional family. Yeah. as fuck family. Isn't every family dysfunctional? Yes. That's yeah. what makes us They're a good, good ones. family. The good ones. I was just going to say the good ones are. The good ones are. Absolutely. How so, long? Bullfrog, I have to say, it is very... It's it's actually really cool to have Morgan Freeman here narrating. <laughs> I just need to say that. I usually get the Allstate man. The Allstate. Oh bag. yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's Bing Rams. The Bing Rams, yeah. yeah. Or Bing Chef Rams. from oh, South yeah. Park. Think, Isaac Hayes. Oh yeah. Yep. I'm sorry. Bing Rams is the uh, Arby's guy. Arby's. <laughs> we have the meat. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Not all of us can be short. <laughs> Some of us have weird voices. <laughs> I'm actually more of a Peter Dinklage fan, but wow! Oh, oh, oh shit! Gosh, hey, he's a great actor. That he did not punch for free. I'm weirdly attracted to him. I have a too. huge, <laughs> yeah. huge celebrity crush on him. Like, like Game of Thrones, I fell in love with him. Me too. I, I was so weirdly attracted to him that whole. Show. Why has he got to be weirdly? Because he has like such a weird presence and like su like okay. especially in the show, like he has such an overwhelming presence. Have you seen so. Pixels? Yes. Fire, Fire Blast. Yes, yeah, still very yeah. attractive. Yeah. Like terrible. He does it. Terrible. He does it. Martin, for me. I love you too. Don't worry, we'll get to that. No, but I'm serious. That movie was terrible. Pixels? Yeah, oh my god, I loved it. That's my son's me? I love that movie. I love it. I love that movie. I've, I've seen that movie like twenty times. Dog. It's the one with Adam Sandler. Yeah, right? I Adam love Sandler. That movie. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's great. Yeah, Adam Sandler makes a good movie every once in a great while, and yeah. especially when somebody else writes it. Hubie, <laughs> Hubie, Hubie Halloween wasn't that great, but no. Eh. 
I still I had to watch it. He wrecked Underdog, too. You guys are haters. I, I, I will tell you, I, I will. There, there is one that I really like, The Water Boy. That was perfect. It was great. Yeah, boy, yeah, I like that one. You Everybody happy, likes the, that the, one. The, the, the quarterback hates the ball. The, the, the center hates the ball to the quarterback. In, in which case, I try to tackle him. He hands it out to the running back. I don't think it was good, too. Oh, yeah. The wedding. Yeah. 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 I like Billy yeah. Madison. I don't know. Oh, oh, yeah. The best line in the wedding singer is, "Get that shirt off before you wreck the the band and they split up." Before they <laughs> break Van up, yes. yeah, yes, Van Halen, yeah, right? It was that a Van Halen show. Yeah. <laughs> I thought Julia Gulia was actually pretty funny too. I do yes. like Julia Gulia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's our show. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it was Thanks great talking, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna. So, I want to dive right into this. Right. So. <laughs> what was your first investigation together, and how did that all come about? Oh, man. <laughs> Our first investigation together, that was, uh, like, professionally on camera or, or just the, some rambunctious people in a graveyard? Rambunctious, rambunctious. people in a graveyard. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, well, You're sorry about that. Relax. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I just get excited. Yeah, uh, we so, know. Uh, we, uh, were, uh, at the old military base, uh, in which him and I had an investigations that we did prior to when she, before she came along. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, we, the one at Valcor, that was pretty interesting. The old military base there in Plattsburgh. Wait, yeah. Valcor Island? Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, not the Island itself. Okay. Uh, you know, like, uh, where Valcor brewing is. Yep. Okay. They got the old barracks and all that. There's a graveyard that yeah. sits right off there. Yeah. That graveyard. Okay. Uh, we did hear the screaming woman. Or, or something else is going on around that we didn't or know about. A screaming woman. A, a screaming woman, <clears throat> which kind of went with some stuff. Uh, we use a lot of trigger objects. So I, I have light balls and we put them out. Okay. And uh, what happens is the when, when a spirit wants to uh, interact with us, they can trigger these balls to light up. And so what we look for is the cues. You know, and we had a lot of that that happened there in that park as well. And then, uh, geez, the what? Voices. Oh, yeah, the we voices. Got our names. Yeah, we interacted with them. They said our names clear as day. They said bullfrog. bullfrog. They did. They actually said bullfrog. Like we have it on we a recording. We have it on camera. It said <laughs> yeah. bullfrog, Jenna, Frankie. So now, th actually, for you, is it, would that be a hatif? Hatif. High teeth. High teeth. Yes. Yes. High teeth. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a haiku. Like a voice that you can't, a voice that you can't see, but you can hear, right? No, that's that, a, that's, that's a called a disembodied voice. Disembodied right. voice. Okay. We were actually using uh, equipment at that time. Uh, obvious. Right. Obvious. Right. So. I, I have no idea what parent, I, I'm, I'm like Martin. I'm not a believer. I don't believe. I've never had any experience. I've had goosebumps on the back of my neck, but that's about it. So there's different. Equipment. So I'm curious. Yeah, different equipment that we can use. There's some that come through on white noise through okay. radio frequency, um, and they'll communicate with you. There's some that use like word banks. Um, there's sometimes you can get uh, something words that aren't even in a word bank on the device. It's kind of crazy mm -hmm. for us to hear our names, things that you wouldn't hear in the word bank, something like bullfrog. That's creepy. When you ask a specific question, can you yeah. tell me my name? And it comes back as an intelligent entity. Like that's huge. That's a huge thing. So what does that mean? I guess. So what is, what does that like? It means that there's something there that we're communicating with. So how do they well, know an, an intelligent, intelligent, uh, um, situation would be like if i if i was having a conversation and i said you know can you tell me your name and it repeats my name mm -hmm. or i can ask questions and it answers those questions or when i use a trigger object and it actually manipulates the trigger object to, to work um in a timed response okay there's a difference because because we're, we're in a time space continuum i don't want to get all scientific but <laughs> but we can get into quantum physics and all that because that is a part of this so dimensions it's why our show is called the crossover discoveries yep uh we see two dimensionally the world is in three dimensions and the fourth dimension is that outer realm okay so that's where that energy can go um now it was already scientifically scientifically proven that energy does exist obviously is what functions your body um, and that's what makes, you know, uh, like your muscles move or your hands and everything else is that energy impulse. Okay. Th the crazy thing is, is this whole entire universe 
is exactly the same way. We are a, a combined interest of nothing but energy. So you're technically connected to everything that has a life. I mean, this table at one time was a tree. Okay. That tree is a living, breathing thing. Okay. And it's connected to the earth and it has energy as well. And so this is what we're looking for when we're doing the paranormal is that that other aspect of what is is out there what's on that fourth dimension and is it going to be an intelligent haunting that we we communicate with or a residual haunting now residual haunting is something like a tape recorder it just you know even even if it's uh what do you want to call it even if you can physically see it okay like an apparition if it doesn't communicate with you doesn't look at you or anything like that it's just repeating itself it's just energy trapped in time and space OK, um, so we look for the intelligent hauntings because this gives us the opportunity to communicate and actually ask the questions that as paranormal investigators, we're all looking for, which is, is there life after death? What is going on here? Why is the universe? I mean, we are a universe beyond a universe, beyond a universe. And every universe through the black hole simulation is a bigger yep. universe and a bigger universe. So we are that connected Okay, aspect of these different universes. So, where is that energy in that timeline? Because again, time and space. Now, so, so basically, is it death or is it just a time jump? I believe it's a time jump. I think the the, the core, what you have here, the the, yep. the body itself, is just a vessel. Right. Okay. So when that passes, when you pass away, you know, this is the only thing that dies is the physical body. So the organs and all correct, that. Yeah. Correct. Because it's organic. Right. Energy is not just like a tree. Exactly. It's organic. Okay. So it, anything that's organic is obviously going to have a, a, a life, you know, and then a death. I mean, it's just kind of how it goes. Our seasons. I mean, everything in this world has been developed through a system called time, time, space. Okay. So everything that you do in this, you, in, in this world is time consistent. What time is our show? What time are we going here? How long do we got to be? Everything is a concept of time. Mm hmm. But in the other in the other aspect on the other level of that in the fourth dimension, time doesn't exist because it's everlasting. Exactly, yeah. it's it's infinity. Uh, infinity. Infinity. Yeah, infinite. Infinite. Dude, I'm possible. not gonna be able to sleep tonight. I'm just gonna be sitting in my fucking bed. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so that's what our show is about: trying to prove or disprove. Yep. If there's a fourth dimension. We're not out there like, oh, fuck, did you hear that? Like, we're trying to actually scientifically and spiritually trying to prove if there is a fourth dimension out there. Sometimes so, you okay. say, oh, yeah. fuck, did you hear that? Yeah, so, but yeah. I mean, sometimes we get surprised and we're like, oh, my God, did you hear that? But, like, we're coming at it from all aspects. Okay. That's Like, cool. is there a fourth That's dimension? That's really cool. So, if you... I lost my train of thought. Sorry. Oh, here no, it is. It still blows me <laughs> Next. Martin Q. What'd you our, our brains won't let us figure this out, but if, if we really are, if this whole place started from two atoms colliding, our brain won't let us figure out, um, you know, what was here before that. And then when I asked my wife that, who grew up uh, Methodist, you know, and I'm Catholic, well, she's like, well, nothing. I'm just like, and then I say, well, then nothing had to have been something for somebody to just take two atoms and go. Yeah. Right. Well, it's called the God particle. That's right. it. Yeah. Say no. And the what? No? The God, God particle? God, the God particle. Okay. And they say, well, there's nothing at the end of the universe that's ever expanding. Well, it is constantly. It is. But still, nothing is something because there is an edge to the uh universe if it's still expanding billions and billions of years outwards it's got to be pushing into something right mm -hmm. you would imagine but so our brain, our brain won't let us figure that out <laughs> The God particle explain that okay. um well I'm curious the, the and believe it or not the Catholic Church coined the phrase um, a lot of people don't realize this but the Vatican has Catholic priests who are actually scientists. Okay. Who uh, worked with uh, Collider, Collider Strong? I never get the name of that right. But anyway, they collided the particles together to create that one atom. That atom, it, when it's, you know, in its combination, is, is a, a source of energy about yay big, but its disruption would be like, what do they say? A uh, uh, hundred thousand or something like that nuclear bombs all at one time. Mm. 
that's and it's just a little thing right you, you see we have atoms and molecules passing through us constantly you know even as we sit here it's just we're a part of that yep um so this the, the god particle kind of goes back to the reflection of what we would consider the big bang theory yep. um okay which it, it seems weird that the catholic church would actually take that and think to themselves okay well we we promote god and we promote you know religion and so on and so forth but we also have science over here too where the fathers are getting together and they're showing you know this and saying all right well we have the god particle too so in a way they're kind of accepting the fact that the big bang theory is a possibility which i totally think it was you know i mean how does it start so develop? they're they're accepting mm -hmm. the fact that the big bang is basically god god Correct. is the big bang it's the energy it's the right. energy, and that's what we all come from. We're right. a combination of energy. And so, we God. <clears throat> right? Is God really Chuck God? Chuck Norris. Is God Chuck really Norris God? Chuck <laughs> Norris created God? Yeah. <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? If, Chuck if Norris says God. I, I believe there is a God, but then I'm thinking, yeah. well, how did he come to be? But what is God? Is God a person or is God a energy? Energy. 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 And God, God isn't male. Or because female. how many gods are there out there, right? There's so many gods that people have believed in and worshipped. Oh man, now you're getting deep. I'm getting deep. And I'm I think deep. that's the thing on our team. Oh, and I can I go think there that's, with you. I'll go there. This is my whole background. Yeah, but I think that's one of the things that makes our team so special is mm -hmm. that we each come from su like Same. such a different place of religion. Like we all have a religious background, but like we're all so different. Like Bullfrog's the light. I'm the dark. Frank is both. Martin has his own beliefs. We all come from religious backgrounds, but very right. different. And our gods to us are all very unique. But the concept is the same. The same. Mm -hmm. Some In similar, essence, similar, similar, similar. Yeah, similar. Yeah. Because I think we try to create a reason for us being here. Sure. I mean, that's a, it's a natural that, thing to try to explain things yeah. like that. Um, like, so this, this energy that's around us, you know, there's always like a good energy. You can feel it when you're looking for it. Type yeah. Thing. And I have a relationship with that energy. Now I actually talk to it. It talks back. I get to see things, visions. It's really gnarly, you know? Oh, you guys, that's not funny. Give him his meds back, will you? Thank you. <laughs> you took him with you when you went to Tennessee, you jerk. No, I left you the Viking in. I don't do yeah. that. <laughs> I got edibles. Oh, yeah. That's right. you know, it's Michael beautiful, is. though. Like, everybody here has their own special reason for mm, being here right. and their own special relationship with their God. Yeah. And what brought us to this, like people ask me a lot of questions and about like demonology and why I'm into all that stuff. But like my background is still so much religion. Like Frank knows everything about religion. Bullfrog is so in touch with his religion. Martin is Catholic. Like we That's all enough. have. That's enough said. <laughs> I was raised Catholic, so yeah. I was. Yeah. 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 My, my uncle's a bishop. He's yeah, a bishop. we all have oh, such a relationship. Right. With got, our own God. I got a question real quick, off topic, but perfect. Did, we like off topic. Did priests, uh, you know, I mean, obviously priests have been known to touch boys. Oh boy! So uh, it, here we go. Well, I'm sorry, but is it? Gay Are men, you jealous? Gay men <laughs> the Catholic Church in search of being able to get at boys, or, or what is it? opportunity right yeah opportunity i will tell you i've been sexually assaulted by a priest mm. so it's not just bull. i don't I, I, I think it's more of well a, known very i think it's more of a, a i mean the romans you, you look back in history like it wasn't uncommon for oh, that no, that, that sort of behavior to to exist that's it it's an abuse of power exactly right is what it yes is. Yeah, and there, there are always going to be certain people in the world who think that it's right, and yeah, people will. I, I hope that no one in this room is one of those people. No, I'm I just sure as hell he's not. But he's on camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's a Chicago. I think allow for for priests to get married, and I'd see, and I think you'd see either the bad priest fall out of out of it because okay, well. Now, if guys can just, if the priests can get married, like in all the other Christian religions, then yeah. you know, they don't have to, because there's no proof that Jesus was celibate. 
Well, I, th- I think that. But it, also it keep your to, fucking hands to yourself, yeah. married it, or not. I think it comes down to more to your faith and how faithful you are to be able to make that sacrifice for your God. Yeah. I think yeah. that's that's more of the challenge that they put on on priests specifically. Right. And I'm not like a, an expert in any of this by any means. This is just Obviously. me as. Obviously. But Jesus didn't ask anybody. <laughs> Thanks, Bullfrog. Ain't no problem, buddy. <laughs> Jesus didn't what? I don't think Jesus said. To, I mean. Christianity wasn't formed till probably a hundred years after he was gone. Three hundred years. You know how many years? Three hundred. Three hundred years. Well, I, I, it was that long, but still, all the apostles and whatever. It's like, let's I, here as a Catholic. This is from a Catholic. I think that Mary of Magdalene was Jesus's wife, and I think that they had a kid. And I'm not even sure that Jesus died on the cross. I don't think we'll ever know because I think the Bible is so skewed well, I, I, and I, written I, by man. I, I and I don't think we'll ever know. I don't want to be a, a you know like a blasphemer or anything, but no, but I think it's here, here, here's 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 the th- could be here, here's here's the thing. I, I'm kind of in the similar idea of that, uh, and I think the Catholic Church kind of basically pushed that back because I mean, obviously, you lose control if right. the truth is known, you know. Oh yeah. And religion, as we know, controls everything. It's a monetary thing. It's a property thing. It's a uh, we want your city thing, and we'll blame it on God. So whose God is the best? Type well, religion of religion controls so, wars. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And religion starts wars. Yeah, that. Uh, yeah. So you know, religion in in it. It has been so twisted and wrong. In my opinion, Jesus was just a man. I think he was a lot like a Martin Luther King. Because um, you got to remember, he his his first demonstration was against his own people who were the money people. Okay? And so he flipping tables and, and doing all that type of stuff. It really sounds, if you go back and you look at it and, and read about it, it really sounds like an activist yep. who was against it. And then, by the way, for being the savior of the Jewish people, who had him put in front of Pontius Pilate right. and executed yeah. his own people. You are okay. the expert. So <laughs> he is. So, yeah. so there you go. I mean, if that, if that, if that actually happened, I mean, we can look at it. We have more answers for those type of things today because these, um, you know, biblical texts, so on and so forth are available for people to read. Right. Um, so you can really draw your own conclusion. You don't have to just go by the book and say, okay, well, just because they said the Bible is how things get done and this is the truth and the light and everything else. I mean, this propaganda. I think it's all messages. I don't like. We know that we've we've evolved. There's no Correct. doubt about it. But the Adam and Eve thing. That's a story. That's a. That's something. There's something to be taken from that. Just like Noah's Ark. There's there's something <laughs> to be taken from that. It doesn't really mean that God flooded the whole earth, and you know whatever. Not only that, but Noah's Ark was the third time that story was told. Well, I'm I'm really gonna I'm gonna break your heart here. You're gonna love this. Uh, Do you know that the whole story of Jesus Christ is exactly the same as the story of Isis and Ra and Osiris? It's exactly the same. You're talking about Egyptian, Egyptian, Egyptology. Okay, the Book of the Dead. That story is exactly the same as the Bible. The only thing that's changed is the names. Right. Right. Well, and, and know, that was written thousands of years. I'm a fan of, of Jesus, y'all, just so you know. That they was, don't speak for me. That was that was written thousands <laughs> of years prior. Jesus so, is cool, man. Well, I, 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 <laughs> Jesus was a man. Jesus did yeah. exist. I totally believe that. But yeah. did he walk on water, part the seas, and do all this other stuff? No, I don't believe that. Well, well, that doesn't it? make it natural. I, I heard something about walking yeah. on water was actually walking next to water. Is that is that any truth in that? I don't think we'll ever fucking know. No. So I don't. Yeah. I don't think it matters you, you know, how much we argue it. It, do, it doesn't you, matter. What, one vision I had right was like this big, big ball of energy, right? And I saw uh, one stream of energy just coming out to Earth, right? And that stream was Jesus to me. And when he died, he severed his connection to that energy and left it all here, so that we can easily reach out and pull it in. You know what I mean? So we can be connected God. to it. I'm that's so, just where I'm at. Him. Okay. That's where I'm at. And that's what I've seen. And I can share that energy with other people you know, rather than try to give them my own, you know, give them my own light, my own kindness, my own love. You know, what's you know? interesting in, in the Great Pyramid, if they, you know, there's those tunnels that are inside. Well, there's a, that one stretch in the in the passage to the king's tomb where they've done measurements and time, you know, each foot equaled X amount of whatever. And there's a space that they say would equal out to about 33 years 
And that's supposed to be, that was supposed to represent when Christ came, uh, came, and then the rest of it finished out up to the, the, the Khufu's whatever, or whatever. Tomb and not that this has to do with the paranormal, but, yeah. you know, I mean, you got to also too realize that when the Egypts built, you know, the pyramids, we had different cultures, the Mayan culture, uh, you know, uh, Bolivia, Egypt, all these different areas where they were building the same exact thing. Now, if anybody's ever been to That's Egypt true. or watched National Geographic, show me where they got those stones that big. Those stones are bigger than most houses. Yep. Now, you're going to tell me that you move that on logs 2,000 miles up and down hills? I don't well, believe they that for a minute. They did that. They use it up to up and down the rivers, yes, with the logs. But if you Who showed you how they did that? No, they showed that on the Discovery Channel. No, that's Where just oh, that's, that's just speculation. That's speculation. Yeah, that's, that's a theory. <laughs> yeah. How it could be done, but were they were they evolved to the point where they could actually do that? I want I want I want to see a fifty ton rock put on top of you know uh, back then they, they had no their, machinery. Well, they built their boats. Right? They built their boats out of papyrus reed. Now, yes, it's buoyant. Yes, you can you can make big yeah. bundles of that and everything else. But that rock on top of something that's gonna, gonna sink that thing right through yeah. there. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna come out and say it. Like I was raised Catholic. I'm very Catholic background, but I have always, 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 always had questions. You gotta always. keep your mind open. Always questions. Question. And my name is Thomas, so I've always I've always considered myself doubting Thomas. Sure. You have to like, ask questions. Yeah. yeah. That's and how we do what we do. There's a ton of other questions. There are so oh, many yeah. questions. No, we're gonna get we to have, a lot of those. We have one that asks. Hey Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> what, which which one did you want, Jenna? Which one? So there's one that asked about a memorable investigation. The first? Oh yes, no, we no, no. had this, one. Yeah, put it up there. Yeah, there let's 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 get back on track here. Yeah. So we <laughs> had one at a house. Go oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's all you had to say. Oh Jesus. <laughs> that was the last conversation. <laughs> all right, so we ahead. had one at a house recently, where. They thought they were being terrorized. Objects were being moved all over. They claimed. What else? Uh, they said. Can I talk about it? Like. Yeah, you don't go. Don't know names or nothing. Of course. Like that, obviously. Yeah. Well, I was going to be like so and so. No names. Over um, the they said that their kids head had been shaved. Objects were being found all over the house in different spots. They had been trots that one of these entities had tried to throw them out a window. Um, what else? The same in Yeah, so pretty much the most, the, pretty much the most horrifying thing I could think of. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, yeah. And this is TVs real. This would is real. turn oh, on so to sure. demonic movies. They thought it was a possible possession yeah. case. Something we're still looking into. We're going to go back and investigate again yeah. because it's a continual thing. Mm -hmm. Bullfrog and me, we had a case that we did with our uh, sister group, uh, the Misfits. And we did that in Maine. And uh, it was a house uh, where a person had passed away. Crazy thing. This person had bought this house. There was a murder that happened in that house. Murder suicide. Yeah, murder suicide. The husband, oh, I missed the, it. The, the husband. <laughs> God damn it. The husband. All right. He <laughs> he was a uh, military, and he must have had like PTSD or something like that. Yep. Nobody really knows what happened there, uh, but he went inside the house, shot his wife. You know, she was in the kitchen. Then he went out to his garage, went up to his little man cave that he had in the garage, and called the police. And of course, the police are going to show up over there. Yep. And uh, when they did, he shot himself in the head upstairs. He, the door to the garage ripped off. was still ripped off the way it was left when the cops drove basically they just drove their vehicle right into the door to go after wow. him. and uh so that happens this person that we did this uh, investigation for her father had bought that house not knowing what had happened there okay they didn't disclose that for some crazy reason hmm. uh he bought that house now this is really ironic the night that he moved into that house he died of a heart attack damn mm -hmm. 
So she didn't go back to this house for like what's two years? Yeah, two or three, I think three, three years. Yeah, three yeah. years had not been back to the house, so it was left to that way. There had been squatters in there and all that type of stuff, uh, but everything was still in the house. So we went over there. We didn't get a lot of energy or activity inside the house per se. Yep. The garage where the guy killed himself—that is where it got crazy. Yeah, it was hype. The girl who actually had the house are now okay. She wanted to bury her or well spread her father's ashes around the house because he'd always wanted this place, so on and so forth. So she thought it would be fitting. Now wait, the father that's the one that, that shot himself. No, no, that's no, the one who died from a heart attack. Heart attack. Okay. Right. Okay. And so uh spreads the ash was gonna spread the ashes around and everything else, but we wanted to do a clearing of that first. Well, he did not like her at all, which is the guy who shot himself in the head, obviously is still was still there yeah. in the in the house uh we had gotten the first thing oh sorry the first thing was is uh, up in the garage we were doing an evp session mm -hmm. and uh you literally hear we were asking questions she had said something derogatory she called him like a child molesting yeah or something, or something like that and and it reacted up there which by the way the cops had knocked down the stairway mm -hmm. so you, nobody could get back up there so there was nobody up there we hear something fly right across the floor, whap right into the wall, and then bounce down right as soon as she said that. So he reacted real quickly to her response. Here, maybe 15 minutes later, uh, she's standing by the window. Uh, or we had a, uh, a, a lady who was... Um, we, uh, I'm always forgetting the name here. Maybe. Uh, yeah, medium, psychic medium. And she was doing channeling at that time. And... Uh, so she says, because we weren't getting really any activity at that point. So she says, uh, you know, well, if you, you know, if you don't want to move something, you know, then, you know, throw something. Next thing you know, immediately, she, the girl, all right, gets thrown against the wall. We have the video. Of oh, it. I saw she those She got marks literally there. lifted up and thrown against the wall. There's nails on the wall. So, you know, the butt of the nail, right? Hit her in the back. Now, she's small. So she had to be lifted up and pushed because if you hit a nail like that or you slip and fall it's gonna mark you down yeah hers was dead center just like it looked like a gunshot wound it was, was what crazy. it looked like yeah and we said we stood her right next to where the nails were just to see if it matched up and it didn't so. no damn so yeah, she had to crazy. literally be levitated off the floor and smashed in there she freaked out she it's like i'm done i'm done she goes walking out of the house and then finally what a trooper she was she got back up after that went right back in there and just yeah. She said it went, went hardcore that time. She said it felt like she got punched by Muhammad Ali. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was in the video. Goddamn, it was crazy. Man. It was greatest athlete of all time. Hell yeah, Muhammad Ali. <laughs> That's what yeah. you got out That's of that. Oh, so. sorry, I mean, I mean, he, he's going to be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah, seriously, like I'm not. Gonna Are you going to spoon him? Big spoon, little. I might stay over. He's yeah. he's I'm little right. spoon. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Martin, you look super comfortable right there, but I don't like it. By the way, Bruce Lee would take out Muhammad Ali too. Here we go. Ooh. Here we go. Oh. I agree because Bruce Lee was all about transforming his style. Stop. Only if Chuck Norris says so. Are we, are we really getting back into this? Stop. Like another Bruce Lee conversation? It goes everywhere. Like I mean, you can only just... have so many Bruce Lee conversations That's in a night. No, I feel no. like so we've tapped out at three. What, what, what I have a question for Jenna. Okay. Okay, so demonology. All right, so I, I've watched the first Paranormal Activity movie. It's a movie. I know it's fake. Like, it's not real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was going to get caught by the Good job. <laughs> and, you know, obviously I'm like, is this shit for fucking real? Like, what, do, do demons actually like... Are you asking shit? me if it's real? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Real By myself. Uh, paranormal Activity. The movie wasn't real. The movie. No, not well, the movie. No, right, 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 right. Are you asking me... Okay, so, so in explain, particular... Explain. I guess. So does yeah. stuff like that actually happen is what you're asking? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. I myself have had a, a demonic attachment. I've, I've spent my entire life studying this. What I have for you is a crush, not an attachment. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a crush. I love you, Martin. Yeah. Uh, it's you, an attachment you, and a crush. I'd I say. love you more than Peter Dinklage now, just I so you know. I possess you a little bit. <laughs> I'm, still, just a little I'm, bit. Still, I'm still on Dinklage's um, side. <laughs> there are... There are dark things out there. Dark we see things. it in our world today. Um, I myself have experienced them in ways that have brought me farther from my God that I thought I would ever be. And I've had to bring myself back to it. Um, and it's scary. And I know members of my team 
have experienced that for sure. I can tell you with my whole heart and my whole being that I believe very much in what I do. Yeah, same here. So now a follow-up question to that. Do you think that a spinning roundhouse kick from Jean-Claude Van Damme would actually <laughs> send those demons back? To hell. To yeah, hell. I do. <clears throat> Big time. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was so. your intro for that. Thank you. That was my intro. You were waiting that for that. That was my intro. Wow. Of course you were. That was my intro. They would already be there. But I actually wanted to know. I actually wanted to know. So yeah, one hundred percent. I mean, so if you're religious and you believe in a heaven and a hell uh -huh. and angels, a demon is a fallen angel, right? Like mm -hmm. Satan, Lucifer. I mean, in the Bible, oh, there's so actually two different <laughs> devils. Truly, there's. I mean. Michael, so was going back to Frank's story about the house with the, the, the guy that killed the wife and then shot himself. So do you think that he is living in hell because of his sins and he is stuck there and that's why he's so angry? I think he's living in his own personal hell. That's uh, it. Yeah. He's a control so freak. Would that be life, so he of, would he be a control. demon? No, no. Is that what you're asking? Because no, 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 not a demon. No, okay. but he he is living in. Uh, I'm thinking of the movie Ghost, right? Oh, yeah. Like purgatory. He's yeah, yeah. In purgatory. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. Catholic. Nice. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's Catholic. <laughs> hey, it's just oh, sorry, purgatory is Catholic, yes, yes. But the idea of purgatory can be whatever religion you want to believe it to be, right? Listen. Am I wrong mm. in that? Or <laughs> what do you say, Martin? Martin? I mean purgatory. Well, you guys just up Ghost, right? The movie Ghost. Yeah, yeah. I have a movie you need to watch. It's even better than Ghost. And it's called The Lovely Bones. Oh, I love oh, that yeah. book. No, yeah. the book blows the movie yeah, out of I, the water. I don't read. You're not in the movie. <laughs> okay. the, visual, the visual effects in that movie are to be like... All the stupid questions are from my boyfriend, just so you know. Can you get our daughter to stop eating dog food? <laughs> those are from my boyfriend, so just disregard them. Yes, okay, but does that cook ahead, better? Sorry. Yeah. The lovely bones is brilliant. Yeah, you need to you need yeah. to watch it because the way they visually like show her like hanging around and her dad still feeling like he he's out she's out there somewhere and all, just the, the whole visual thing of like what is heaven and where where are you until that till you actually go is way better than ghosts. I mean, I love Patrick Swayze. I've worked with him and stuff, but that, that movie was great. Yeah, Scary love, looking love dude. It. The Lovely Bones, when I see it, rest his soul. no matter where it is, I have to watch the rest of the movie. Pancreatic cancer. It sounds like Oh Spielberg. my God, I didn't know he was dead. Oh, Patrick Swayze's been oh, yeah, dead no. a while. Yeah, no, he's been dead. Oh, oh man. Too yeah. soon. I hope you feel oh, like shit. <laughs> too sorry, too I feel his like an asshole. His name is Dalton. <laughs> his name is Dalton. Correct. His name is Dalton. But yes, it is brilliant, and it does have such a cool take on the afterlife. Yeah. Yeah. And for all these endorsements, we will accept checks. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Well, since we're on this uh, kind of subject a little bit, we'll take one more question here. It says, what was your first paranormal experience like? <laughs> oh, this is great, because we all have the most unique experiences. I can't wait. Who wants to start? You well, should. You, you should. You okay. Ladies first. Okay. Ladies first. <laughs> So my first paranormal experience comes from my father, who was uh, my biological father, a very dark, <laughs> very dark man. I won't get into like the nitty gritty of it, but he was um, possibly not well in the head, mental disorder. My mom used to be terrified because she would walk into rooms and crucifixes would be upside down. It would literally follow him. Oh, he had shit. like this demonic presence that would just follow him like evil was attached to this man my whole family would say it and my mom who is a very sane lady would claim that she would see blood dripping from the wall and rat infestations and like i said crucifixes turned upside down and anything religious in the house would be altered and messed up or torn down um, so, so that was mine. My first was your uh, mom a religious person? Very Catholic, extremely Catholic. Catholic. Um, my first time ever seeing an apparition. I was a kid. We lived in a really active house. I would ha I had this big waterbed with a mirror on it, 
uh, and I would lay in bed at night and in the mirror, I would see an old man walking in the hall. Just back that was me. It was Martin. <laughs> Martin, you were just trying to get a peek. I love you, Martin. I love you so much. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I would see him walk by every night in the hall. And I thought I was going crazy. And I would tell my family, and they'll, they'll still talk about it to this day, um, that I would see an old man walking back and forth. Until one day, my dad showed me a picture of his grandfather, great-grandfather. And I was like, it just clicked. And I was like, that's the man. That's the man that I see every single night. I, I watch him walk around in our house every single night. And then we sold the house. And the people we sold it to wanted their money back because they were like, this house is fucking haunted. Like chairs rock on their own and water faucets turn on and off. And were, they the, were they seeing the old man? I don't know if well. they saw it, but they were like, like stuff happens in this house that we cannot explain. We don't want to be here. So, and I was like, oh, suck it. I told you. Like, I wasn't crazy. So what do you think that meant that you kept seeing him? I just think he never left. Yeah. I think he was attached to that place. Did he live there? Or Yeah, he did. Oh. Yeah, he died there. Oh, wow. He died okay. in the house. Yeah. Okay. Hi, mom and dad. I know you're watching. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> We love you too. Some of us lo love her better than others. Ah, Martin! <laughs> Martin, do you have any paranormal experience? Like, has anything happened to you? No, I was with these guys a couple weeks ago. And <laughs> Jesus. I thought I heard them here. Bullfrog on the radio or something, but <laughs> it could have just been. Oh, sir. <laughs> Very good chance. Myself, it's yet to be seen for me. You know me. I'm the. I I, I want to see it because I want to. I want to. If it's you're awesome, doubting Thomas. I want to know why. Yeah. Yeah. You I'm hoping they throw why. you. <laughs> I want to like see you get like thrown. Of Wall Street. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Get tossed. Then we could charge them like five hundred bucks. <laughs> I, I'm actually really excited for to watch your episodes. Like. Now I'm, yes. I'm so excited. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, Thanks, man. After meeting yeah. you guys, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I appreciate it. It's a good. I, I mean, we're it. pretty fucking cool. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're here in our third bedroom studio. Yeah. Like. So we <laughs> know how to party. <laughs> very state of the art. <laughs> nothing screams redneck. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, nothing at all. <laughs> nothing. Soft core. Yeah. Little, little soft porn. So, <laughs> soft porn. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Like this kind of used to watch on like Cinemax. Cinemax. It was all blurry. Yeah. It was all, yeah. 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 It was all blurry. And you're like, oh my God, that was a boob. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Was oh, that a boob though? Yeah. Or was that a boob? We don't know. We don't care. We don't, know. Know. We don't care. I'm going to call mind, it a boob. I'm going to tell my friends it was a boob. Yeah. In my yeah. 14 year old mind, it was a boob. Yeah. 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 It still worked. Mind whatever. There were, there were lots of boobs. It's going to work for later. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll I wouldn't call it soft though. Not a word I would use. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> How about everybody else's first experience? We're talking about well, paranormal. I was, paranormal, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I was, I was 15 in the light. The paranormal <laughs> answer. Yeah. I was 23. I was in the back of a cavalier. <laughs> <laughs> prom? What prom? Yeah. Oh, man. There prom. Please there. don't bring up prom. Oh, I right. hate prom. I was homeschooled. <laughs> Her daughter's getting ready to go. To we prom. won't go there. No, Full homecoming. Frog. Thank you, she's going oh, homecoming. to homecoming. She's a freshman. She's going to homecoming. I'm so off. Your so daughter. These guys. This is how much family we are now. They I, sat I on a couch <laughs> at a dress store tonight. Well, I tried on homecoming dresses. Oh, my boy. daughter and I are like the same size. Uh, the show Minus is good. the big boobs. Tried on homecoming dresses and like modeled them. <laughs> And made them watch. It was actually kind of like wow. a runway because there was a cool lot of girls modeling dresses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that, <laughs> oh, really? It sounded couch, very cool. You know, it they were just like, <clears throat> this is great. Yeah, but that one looks they great. They looked yeah. like they were that one. dying. So like so, an 80s movie montage where you come out and they're like. A little, a little <laughs> off topic, a little off topic. But so there was a there was a thing that happened here in Vermont. Oh, God. I was in eighth grade. Something so happened. That was like Vermont. 21 years ago. 21 years ago. Okay. What is it? Wow. And <laughs> it was called Angie's Models and Images. Okay. Oh, she came go. to the mall and she was like, 
you know, come up on the runway in the mall. Glamour shots. And <laughs> yeah. you can become an actor. You can become he, an actor and a, or, you know, whatever. Wait, it's like Barbazon. So I always wanted to be an actor. That was like my childhood dream. Okay. So, Martin, are you listening? You really failed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't fail. Wow, no, I didn't wow. fail. I didn't fail. Okay. So I went up there and she accepted me, right? Oh, so I went to Cornwall, Canada, Cornwall, Canada to do an <laughs> acting school type like weekend thing. Where right? you had to pay a ton you of had money. To pay a ton, ton of money. money. A ton of money. Yeah, Who's an idiot? Well, I didn't pay. My parents did, right? right. Yeah. Wow. So. Anyways, I had like a photo shoot in Burlington. I had a photo shoot. He's looking at the picture. Wait, do no, you have no. a picture? He's looking at the picture. Even better. I had Wait, a photo shoot in Burlington. Wow, hang on, hang God, on. I'm not done yet. Please. What is it? What is it? What is oh it? Oh my God. Which one, which one, 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 but that's a which one, one is it? That's okay. a good so one. Very, very, very is that cheap. the headshot? Is that the headshot? <laughs> My no, God. No, no, sure, Martin sure sees it. Everyone's no, no. going to see it. Oh, I think, I think everyone... oh, my God. Is that you? Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm wearing my mom's bathing suit. That's beautiful. <laughs> what a dog. Oh but anyways, okay, so... I did a, I did an actual like photo shoot in Burlington. Like there were other people there. They, and you felt beautiful. I felt amazing. amazing. I was like, oh, my God, my childhood dream is going to come yeah. true. I'm going to be an actor. So I went to Cornwall. I did this acting school. And then like didn't hear anything for two weeks. So Angie's models and images <laughs> disappeared. Disappeared. What? what? They took your money Man. and they left. I still have the portfolio. Though. Oh, just, thank just, God. Just, just so Are you, you know. going to use that for later? <laughs> well, yeah. Just so you know, when Martin and I became actors, um, ours was a little different story. Ours was more casting couch. So oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Like, Did you pay any money? Said, like, oh, I didn't oh. have to pay any money. Lo- yeah, that's the black couch. But I never got that movie deal. That's weird. Um, Mom, yeah. I'm Martin pretty is. sure my mom was a demon. <laughs> Who said that? I'm Who's sorry, Chris. Oh, yeah. He's not lying, though. Uh, <laughs> anyway, sorry, that, sorry, was, that was my hot topic. I, I had to get that out there. No, out well, there. I'm really story. sorry that it's happened not, to you. Not, yeah, it sucked. Fuck Andy. Like a, uh, yeah, I was in eighth grade. But those <laughs> and I was like, I wanted to be time. a fucking actor. Uh, we, we tell I love you, Chris. As, as people who've been in the industry for yeah. as long as Martin and I both have. I mean, I got over 20 years. I know Martin's got to be around there, too. Uh you have to watch for scams like that. Like we tell people all the time, if you get management like an agent and your agent is charging you, Richard, you, you know what I mean? Like you pay your agent up yeah. front to have an agent. That's a scam right there. Dude, uh, I live in oh, Vermont. No. I live yeah. in Vermont. I had no I live in Vermont. I live in Vermont. <laughs> I, live in Vermont. <laughs> I live in Vermont. Go Bernie. No. <laughs> Bernie! No. Go Bernie. No. I love Bernie. No. <laughs> if I had mittens, you could really see this right now. <laughs> we, have, we have already talked about religion, so we're going to politics. Oh, here, it's, huh? yeah. Okay, no, 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 we're not going to politics. Right. No, I didn't know bullfrog. it was this kind of show. We're First experience, that. Bullfrog, go. go. Sorry, I went off topic. That's quite all right. Um, <laughs> like, most of my, uh, when I was young, I had a lot of stories from my father and my, my family. So stuff that they've been through. I'm in their house in Lion Mountain. Um, I don't know if y'all are familiar with Lion Mountain. Yes. Yeah. Um, but uh, my grandmother's house, she had all kinds of shit going on. Uh, there was stuff falling off the walls. There was, there was, um, you know, chairs moving back and forth. There was music being played. Um, you know, there was uh, at one time, it was crystallized on the window. There was a Virgin Mary in crystal like ice. Yeah, that they wiped off and it would come back. And I got to see pictures of that growing up. And I, my dad's, you know, he's a, he's a religious man. He, like he, he's Christian. My mom was Catholic. My grandfather was the deacon of the church out there in uh, Lion Mountain. So, you know, it was a lot of religious stuff growing up. But they would see all these things, and we have pictures of them that they grew up with. I've got to witness my own stuff mostly when I got with uh, Frank here the last couple months. Um, I, I've got to see quite a bit already. So, nice. I mean, if you're looking for it, you're going to find it. Most people don't believe in it, because, but they're also too fucking scared to go looking. Right, I mean? that's me. Yeah, like, if you don't believe, why are you scared then? Come on, man. Is yeah. this I'm not, I'm not I scared. Believe. I just never yeah. had an experience. Yeah, well, you got to go find it, man. Like I, I suggest everybody give it a shot, whether you believe in it or not. Prove yourself wrong or right. Well, sometimes yes. put me on you your show. Don't. Give me yeah, my but Sometimes game. you don't go looking for it, and <laughs> sometimes it comes to you. Yeah, I did that. True. <laughs> I, I, I well, believe. I believe I sent you guys that. that Seriously, video. you guys want to go which, for a hunt? Come. Which video? I'll go. I offered. I, go. I offered go. Mike. Go. Go. No, well, we'll go. I'm going to set that go. one up for you, but I still have to wait for our management hey, back. Just remember, Jenna offers a lot of things that she never can do. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Martin. Martin. Hello, Martin. Hey, Martin, I'm only interested in what you're offering. <laughs> yeah. oh. Well, I'm going to offer. Keep that what camera angle. Offer. I like it. <laughs> just stay right there. 
Don't move. <laughs> Martin, don't move. <laughs> Martin's gone. Not there he is. Right. There you go. Wait, look at does it look like a girl had her period in my bed? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the uh, it looks like a scene of psycho, actually. Are those you got little, Christian Bale in there? What, What's going on? What did you do? No, I got I got two tattoos done again today, one on each arm. Oh, so you're bleeding. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And it's He's coming bleeding. through both of my shirts. Lies. I told you not it's to invite of, messy hookers back to your room. Yeah, only clean, only clean ones. Only clean ones. Only clean ones. Just the clean ones. Get it together, Martin. The last one I had in... in uh, you pay for what you get, Martin. Oh, the last hooker you had? <laughs> the last one I had in... Uh, wherever that was in New York. What was it? Plattsburgh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, dude. Are you sure? I don't want to know about Plattsburgh's yeah. ones. Yeah. The Plattsburgh hookers? I'm yeah. from that area. I was actually born in Plattsburgh. What was that? What was that? Nice. I wasn't. <laughs> Do not even say me, Martin. Don't even. Y'all should fight about this. <laughs> right now. Martin. Lies. It wasn't you. It was Bullfrog. It was Bullfrog. You're welcome. It was. Nice. <laughs> you wish, bro. He's a high and dry kind of guy. He seems like a very gentle man. Thank you. I was talking. <laughs> a gentle yeah. lover. He does. He's a gentle he lover. I'm sure that oh, he will yeah. hold you afterwards. Are we talking about are we talking about Martin or myself? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I, I speak, Martin gets a little tall. Oh, okay. Ask Bullfrog to go. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> you like that? Like it's like, like private bar like style. style. Yeah. See, oh, he, yeah. he's into like it. Like on the speaker. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, I just saw him right there. What a show! What a show! <laughs> Martin, no, Martin, we gotta have you live in studio. There's no extra charge. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You can stay at my house. <laughs> oh yeah, you can uh -huh. stay with me. No, you don't recharge. Like you don't want to stay at his house. He prefers hotel. Yeah. I do too. I'm the same way. I always stay in the hotel. I'm, yeah, I'm in a damn embassy suite here, but yeah. putting blood all over the sheets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I saw you. It looked like fingerprints, Martin. Yeah. Why does it look like it's fingerprints? Coming through my shirt. You need to set some pillows up in the shape of a body and then wrap that bloody sheet around yes. the housekeeping. Yes. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Do He's going to do it now. I hope, I hope you do. I take pictures too. of it, too. He I is awful. He I can't wait to see it on awful. the news. He tormented the girls at Valcor. The waitresses tormented these poor girls. Oh, the like, girls hid on young. the stairs to jump out and scare yeah. them. Scared the piss out of these girls. <laughs> yeah. It was amazing. awful. Just this man the small man yeah jumping off of stairs screaming in their faces <laughs> it terrified them I know. I sometimes think with like food much. trays in their hands oh, he would jump it. out and be like bah! i love it no it was awful sometimes <laughs> i have to ask myself i'm like dude when my dad was 52 he wasn't acting like this no grow up marty and i and then i'm like oh yeah i gotta stop doing that don't yeah. grow up. No, don't ever grow don't up. Don't ever grow no. up. Yeah. Growing up is for losers. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Ask Jenna. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel like I'm the most grown up one. Actually, she, <laughs> <laughs> that was a great laugh. I hope you got the recording. Wait, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She she is like the mom to everybody here. I, I, I'll go. I'll, I'll go on record saying that for sure. Okay. Okay. Keeps I keep door. these boys in line. Oh, slow it. I can see that. Yes. Yeah. She just makes sure that we know where we're supposed to be the day we're supposed to be. That's pretty much right. right. Okay. We, yeah. we we just found out yesterday we were doing this. So. Oh, okay. No, he's I, full I, of I, shit. I actually found out about an hour ago. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just okay. a hard. You find out when you walk into you, the studio. You yeah. Mike knows he's gotten where a case of it. I'm just a hardcore type A personality. Where like I need to know when it's done, yeah. and I want it done instantly. You tasted yep. Jenna. Yeah, he tasted it. Damn, dog. <laughs> 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 you made him jealous. I, yeah, Martin looks upset it. now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He woke him up though. Martin looks really yeah. Sleep now up. he's awake. No, now he's bleeding parents, even more. Her parents are listening though. I feel bad. Yeah, they are. You <laughs> should feel bad. <laughs> Martin. I am. <laughs> so Frank. Yeah. What was your first experience? Oh, ever. That. Yeah, <laughs> we're, uh, we're getting back to it. He has to go that. way back now. 
It's 19 and 43. Four score. Uh, <laughs> Bullfrog and Martin have to know you hang up. Hey, no, you hang up. Martin. I know, I saw that. Martin, you hang up. I gotta hang up. No, 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 no. Don't go anywhere, you don't motherfucker. You, uh, don't ever leave me. It is so don't true. Their me. romance is intense. <laughs> We're just reading the comments, brother. Oh. My son said that. Who said to hang up? No, no, my brother said well, me and you have the type of relationship that where we go, no, you, you hang, hang up. up. No, you hang up. Oh, yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, yeah we do. <laughs> we do a little bit, though. Yeah. You know, like, we got the same voice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> People get us confused all the time. <laughs> I would probably work more if I had your voice. Oh, dude, it doesn't work for me, but I'm just wasting it, you know? Well, so. yeah, but I have the looks. You don't have the looks. So. Hey, well, you ain't lying there, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never lied, never lied to me. Yeah. Frank. It gets cold down there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> first paranormal experience. Oh, okay. Uh, my, my first paranormal experience uh, was about six years old. Uh, I grew up in a small town in Wyoming. You know where that is? Yes, yes I was in the capital of Montana. And where? Um, Cheyenne. Cheyenne. I'm from yeah. Orland. Okay. So, yeah. A small, small little town. Uh, small. I grew up Catholic, just like you guys. I'm in parochial school, all that type of stuff, communion, all that. Uh, so, when I was a kid, I wasn't allowed to watch scary movies, obviously, or anything with cussing or any of that type of stuff. Fuck. I know, damn it. Now look at me. Uh, <laughs> That's what is, happens. This is what happens when you set good standards for your kids. They turn right. out like me. <laughs> it's bad. Uh, <laughs> anyway, my parents had bought a house, their very first house, uh, on Holly Avenue. Um, don't know really much about the house itself, but I know as uh, when I was six years old, this went on for like a whole entire week. I mean, I always felt some presence there, but I didn't know really what ghosts were. It wasn't discussed. Uh so I was there for one whole week. I'd wake up and there'd be people standing around my bed and I'd see them playing as day, just like you guys are standing here. They were all cloaked, you know, like almost looked like monks, uh, but I could never see their faces. So I asked my mom about it. And of course, she tells me what most moms do. Oh, your imagination. Knock it off, you know, and everything else. Not to know that they were experiencing things, too, but just to tell me. Uh, so. As this went on, I, I kind of convinced myself that I would stop hiding under the covers because these people were there. So as soon as I seen them, I would actually confront them. So it's pretty big for a six-year-old, you know. And on that day, I did that. Uh, and I actually confronted them, asked them what their names and why they're here. And uh, it was really weird because they just all just kind of faded away and it was gone. And then my mom woke me up. Hmm. So it was like a dream within a dream. And don't do, don't do that to me. That wasn't me. That was fucking bizarre. Don't fucking do that. that? Do you know everywhere yeah. Frank goes? Yeah. Literally do that everywhere me. Frank goes, we have an experience. You got a reason for that, right? <laughs> Something happened. No, 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 no. What happened? Y'all didn't hear that you voice. You didn't hear, hear that? that voice? No, no, I heard that. I, I know. I know. He knows what it is. I, yeah. I, I, have, okay. I have an explanation for that. That's good. I, I think it's feedback. Because, it's, it's because everywhere because we go, uh, the weirdest shit. I looked at these two and I was like, I We're farted. used to no, no, it. No, that's oh, he farted, Martin. Farted. No, no, no. <laughs> you guys heard that? Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah, we was like, oh. <laughs> you looked at me, I was like, ah. Oh. Jenny, you good? Yeah. Sure. I didn't think you heard. I was like, no, no, way. no that was like, uh, Thank I you. just did it again. Oh, Damien wants you to blow him a kiss. Do you want me to explain it so you feel better? I thought you called him Vince. Hi, Abby. Do your lights normally do this, though? Yes. It's because of the air conditioner. Right there, yeah. yeah. So. so that's one thing we do in the we with what, what I taught these guys is that we open that. Yeah, don't bang it on the table. <laughs> ah, whatever. Relax. We don't care. Uh, so anyway, if you don't like it, don't listen. Get the fuck out. Oh! <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Not you. I'm sorry. The listeners. Jesus. God. Go on, Frank. Uh, so we we go I'll to disprove a haunting before we ever prove a haunting. Um, so we look for every reason why it would be something else, you know, as it doors as it would, because everybody, you know, I mean, like people say, I hear like uh, knocking sounds in the floor. When you go down in the basement, you realize that there's been water yeah. leaks and everything. So what does wood do in heat? It expands and contracts, you know? Yeah. And so there's your popping noise. Or if you have a system, a heating system, you know, like that runs off steam. It's going to make a lot of banging noises. Old houses tend to creak, you know? Yeah. And so there's usually an explanation for what's going on. Um, now, Until when we there actually, isn't. Yeah. <laughs> when, we, when, we, when we actually get stuff that we can't explain, 
that obviously is what we're in it for. But we, we go to help people, you know? I mean, so we want to help people understand what's going on in their house. And if we can prove that it's not paranormal, it's so nice for a lot of these people because then they, they feel much more at ease at that yeah. point, you know? And uh, what about the ones that you can't prove? Do they move? Well, we got to change that. Make sure that what do you the noise mean? From like you go to a house. Against the wall stops making noise. Like you go to a house and you're like, okay, we can't find any like reason. So that's the thing, yeah. right? There has like been, I mean, there are times where you're going to come across people that maybe are just mentally not in a right headspace and maybe there's yeah. nothing paranormal there yep. at all some people might just want attention you know? <laughs> or, or attention maybe you just need to be there as a friend or a soft spot to land or to just be like hey mentally you're not well you need medical mm, professional Medicaid. right yeah and and, and two uh, i'm gonna elaborate on something that uh, <clears throat> we haven't gotten to yet emf it's a very big thing so you know it, a lot of houses especially older houses have leaking conduits and oh, so on and so forth that is a high level of emf so if you have anything over 500 that's already pretty bad but a lot of these places we go to they're hitting in the thousands which is extremely uh, intolerable especially to people who can't deal with high levels of emf me yeah i get so, so sick so in, in 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 a situation like that i mean you can you'll feel like somebody's watching you you'll feel like sometimes your hair raise up on your arm you know if yeah. you're sick to your stomach or maybe a little bit dizzy like you know <laughs> like you're drunk or something you know so here's the thing that's just high emf it's not paranormal so emf for what the listeners that don't electromagnetic know. field okay thank you well, High Martin, levels of radiation. I think Martin wants to say something. No, I was, I was just saying somebody watching me. Um, so, <laughs> Vermont He's games, ordering movies. Vermont Games. Yeah. Fan, we've actually, all three of us, have been oh, yeah. to yeah. Emily's Bridge. We've all oh, yeah. investigated there. Yeah. I And? I went there. Uh, so, we, uh, I investigated there when I was 12. That was my first haunt. And that, oh, my necklace fell. Um, it was creepy. It was a cool vibe. I didn't experience anything. You're talking about Emily's Bridge? Yeah. yeah. That was my first as well. When you yeah. took, when, you, like, yeah. when I first met Frank, he took me over to Emily's yeah. Bridge. We I actually didn't saw some white mist. Anything and stuff like out of Balls the extraordinary. I didn't experience anything I couldn't explain. It definitely had an eerie feel to it. It felt more um, elemental. Well, you're over water. Yeah, exactly. So the conduit right. for that type yep. of activity. Well, um, limestone. Experience any apparitions. Well, li any limestone. Li places that are built, you know, with limestone, like the Stanley Hotel. We've all heard of that one. You know, mm -hmm. Stephen King actually wrote The Shining from that hotel. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, it's it, First off, that was on native land, but it's surrounded by uh, quartz and limestone. So we believe in the paranormal that there's a lot of energy. It's like a conduit system, just the same as water. So usually anywhere where paranormal activity is going on, if you find a water source that's close by and the activity is really high there, there's a good reason that's the reason why it's high there. Okay. So, you know, those are all things that we look at. And, and that's another thing, too. With like what Now, we, that, that goes back to what you were saying about, like, energy, right? Correct. Because there's a high energy that's a, in water. Yeah. Of course. Always, yeah, yeah. Like Bruce Lee said. Constantly flowing. Jesus Christ. Be like water, be my like friend. Water. <laughs> yeah, like water. baby. Be like water. <laughs> hey, look, look, look. <laughs> I think Bruce Lee actually could be on your team. Oh, Jesus with the Bruce I'm just Lee. saying. Oh, usually, oh, a John Claude. usually a John Claude. So that's. <clears throat> I already got my Jean Claude in. I hear you, Martin. Yeah. <laughs> He's over there making noise. <laughs> uh, so here's stuff that actually um, I've, you know, seen or dealt with. Uh, so there's two of them uh, that come to mind. One I was. See. um so a long time ago, oh, my mom actually uh, committed suicide in our house. And ever since then, oh, my mother. Sorry, and I'm ever so since sorry. then, it's fine. That's awful. We would always smell um, a candle. Yeah. And that's it so was typical. fucking weird. No, that's and then, not weird. And then always we would see, um, she would always have on um, a white nightgown yeah. all the time. We would see like flashes of that in the house. And my sister saw it a lot um, and actually at her apartments and stuff. So um, I think that she followed my sister, yeah, and she's seen that a lot, and she's talked about it. And I always weird. think about that. Like I have children, and I always think about when I pass. I've had like a deep conversation the first time you and I ever investigated together. I was like, when I pass, I don't. 
feel like I'd be able to pass on. Mm -hmm. I don't. I just don't. I feel like I wouldn't be able to leave my kids and I would stay in purgatory because I would not want to pass on. So it was purgatory a personal choice, you think? I feel like I would not be able to pass on without my children. I feel like I would not be able to pass on knowing that I left my children. Well, there's portals. I think we'll know we, that we, under, we understand get that. that, you know, that, that, right that, yeah. the, the, with the way the portals work is just coming into our world and going back to the, the fourth dimension, you know, is the back and forth mirrors, a catalyst for that. Mirrors, crying, right? Yeah. So, you know, it, I, I think that that's technically what purgatory is. It's not, it's not that, you know that that you're stuck here in limbo, like a, a train station. You're sitting on the platform waiting for the train to show up. I don't believe you know? that word's even in the Bible, is it? What platform or train? Purgatory. Purgatory. <laughs> Purgatory. There's a lot of trains. Purgatory's yeah. in, the in the Bible. Bible. Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> Purgatory's in the Bible, isn't it? Purgatory. Yeah. I believe so. Yeah. I believe so. Yeah. Um, he's doing it now. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> I could have sworn it's in the Bible. I think death doesn't scare me, but like Jenna was saying, no, it's not. Not, it's not, not the Bible. Seeing my not children grow but up, is it, but is it yes, in the old? Yes, that does, that and I feel like I would death. not be able to be yeah. at rest knowing that I couldn't watch my kids grow. And I right. had like a very real conversation with him, and was like, I don't think I could be at rest knowing I wasn't around for my children. Yeah. And so it's a very real possibility, especially for somebody to be in such Catholic pain and take their sense. own life, yeah. to be stuck in that state of pain. I don't know. I but mean, that, that, that is that, that is hell. That's it. That is That's, hell. It's mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, but what if your kids then, when they when they pass, don't want to pass on because you're there, and they don't want to pass on. Because they want to wait for their kids, and all of a sudden, I know, I know, it's awful. I mean, that's the thing about death. Yeah. I guess we'll find out someday. Yeah. Yeah. Well, everything that's alive is gonna die. Yeah. Hate to be the bearer of bad news. <laughs> once you're born, you're yeah. gonna die. Mar We're gonna, We're gonna Martin, once you, you once you get there, you let us know, I buddy. Will. Give us a sign <laughs> from the other side. Oh, I'm gonna come out a clean tampon. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking knew that, something like that. that to your sheets, bro. <laughs> I was about to say your sheets are gonna say otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing you guys try to do is disprove on it. Yeah. Correct. Yes. Okay. We, so we never go in there believing that's what it was going on. Okay. So you've gone past that. And you think these people got something going on? Yeah. What's step two after that? Depends. depends. A plan. Yeah. We devise a plan of, of how we're going to do this. It really depends on what the client wants. Um, some clients they yeah. look at it and they say, you know, I, I don't mind that this is around. So we just do basically a communication with it to find out who it is, what it's about, that type of stuff. If it's an intelligent haunting, so on and so forth. Um, is there any hidden money? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna start asking that. Thanks for that. Yeah, I'm gonna, no, that's, did you that's hide a very money good somewhere? Question. <clears throat> Any jars out in the yard we should know about? <laughs> Why didn't you ask that? Door? Never mind. We'll, we'll work on that. We're gonna get that done. <laughs> so that's fun, that's fun. that's really how we do it. I mean, everything has a, a a process, you know, to it. It depends again on the type of haunting that it is. You know, uh, what paranormal activity it is. Um, in human spirit, human spirit, uh, disembodied voices without apparition. I mean, there's this million things you know and so you basically what you do is you just sit down and you say okay well this is what the client wants and we try to basically tailor it to what the client feels more comfortable with some clients they, they don't want that there in their house uh like we've had cases where it's pretty troubling because it's doing you know things to a child you know scratches marks so on and so forth and you know we that anytime we get a case and in, there's children involved those are our high priorities automatically um, because we want to make sure that the family's safe. Uh, outside of that, yeah, it's just really breaking it down for what the client wants and what well, they're most the comfortable with. The scratches on my back are not from a ghost. Those are from Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> it must Your have been a ghost when you were there. there. <laughs> <laughs> Your boyfriend's going to kill me. <laughs> He's in there somewhere. <laughs> so i was talking to jenna um so where i work and where you know all three of us i used to work i know that he's heard it i've heard it tom i think 
No. You've heard it. No. no. Uh, so it was just me and Cole. Yeah. Um, He's every morning that. at 4.30 in the morning, uh, we had to unlock this building and it's an old theater. And from the basement, it's and, haunted. It's like, haunted. All the fucking time, we would hear voices. And we would go down, and there's nobody there. Now, that could be a residual. Yeah, no idea, but it's always between like 4.30 and 5 a.m. It sounds definitely like a residual, because that's usually how residual hauntings right. work. They they come in at exact exactly the same time, yep. generally. But it was never anything. I couldn't. I could never make out. It's like it was it's like being in another room. You know somebody's over there talking. Yeah. But yes. you know you can't hear them. That's yeah. all I heard. I think it was like four thirty in the morning. We stopped at the all top the of the stairwell and, and I looked went, at it. Yeah, like Frank like, said, it's gone. like a record. It's on repeat. Yeah. Like. Yep. And other officers have heard it since and still do. Yeah. I've so. actually done my research since we've talked. Okay. And a lot of yes. people have had the same yep. experience. Yep. So is this a, a theater buildings. we might have been talking about today? Or different? Theater? You can say different. it. Different. You can say it. No, different. No. Oh, different. Okay. Yeah. You're talking about the one in Berlin, the one downtown. Right. Yeah. Flynn? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Flynn? Okay. Is that haunted? Is that I don't know. It just looks uh, like a No, he place. asked me, and I said, I don't know. It's been around for like ever. Though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have like three locations on our campus. So I work uh, at a college here. I've talked to probably There's, 30 people yeah. since having a conversation with you who have yeah. had very similar experiences. Yep. Um, if they'll tell you, I do my research. And that was built in, uh, I think it was 1908. <clears throat> Most of the buildings are from 1908 or pre-1908. So I, so I can't wait back. to get in there. Why are all the hauntings of the old dead people from the 1800s? I don't know. No. <laughs> my house was built in They were um, sexually frustrated. So they had nothing else to do. I just said maybe just not enough. Uh, you know, we have the internet now. Yeah, yeah that's it. You no, know, so, once they found yeah. out about Atari twenty six hundred. Space Invaders. Yeah. Yeah. Did, uh, My control. favorite was Tank. I mm. loved Space Invaders. Mm -hmm. Loved yeah. it. Right. So I don't play video. Are you going to get us into that theater? I am he is. Working on it, yes. He's working. Oh, oh I have been it's up a, his ass. Let's, let's all go. Let's all go. And yeah. one other guy. Oh, we I, should and, I, and, I go. Poor, and I'm I trying go. to get the other let's guy. Go. Go. What? I want to go. Can you want to go? go? I, go. I, I asked Mike yeah. if he wanted to I go. I literally I went to that building every single night. Like women. I'm on this guy, this poor guy, to the point where he's like, No, he loves it. Does he? Yeah, he does. We're on his ass all the time. Kenna, you can't get up with that ass with that swirl, that uh, that's holy that mother of goodness. <laughs> it is. The yeah. gerbil. Yeah. You know, you're never going to be welcome at her family's house, <laughs> or will right. he? No, my family's going to think you're great. <laughs> as long as you don't talk. Will become my as long as you don't talk. <laughs> that's or right, Martin. <laughs> you're always welcome at Thanksgiving dinner, buddy. Uh, so sure. I have a question. Uh, I have never had like a paranormal experience. But I that have you often, can recount. I have often that. But I you said recount. this, yeah. Right. So there's, yeah. But I, I always get like, what's with the hair on the back and the, like the goosebumps? Like you just all yeah, of a sudden you're wait, walking. Wait, okay. Hang, okay. What sign are you though? Capricorn. Okay. I'm a so sign. I literally walk through <laughs> some place, dark, night, and it's always dark at night. But what, what did I miss? <laughs> I'm sorry. You're laughing really hard. I missed something. No, I missed you're it good, too. Good. I want to hear. <laughs> You'll hear it on Spotify. Oh, <laughs> great. Thanks. Okay. Keep going. But I always get this like, yeah. often I get this goosebump chill up the back of my neck. Mm -hmm. Like it goes from my spine all the way up to my neck. But do you and get an erection when that happens? <laughs> <laughs> Who says I don't have one already? That's what I'm talking about. Go is it, 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 yeah. these, these are things that we need to know when we're doing an investigation. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> it's just <laughs> intuition. Maybe you can tell energies out there. Yeah. So like Bullfrog, uh, he's really great with energy. Frank is just super smart. I'm like very sensitive to energy. Some <laughs> 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 Martin. Is the problem of relief? <laughs> some people are like high functioning empaths, and some people are just really in tune to energy. Maybe you can sense the energies off. Maybe you can sense a shift in the energy. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe okay. that gas. 
Maybe you have gas. He absolutely. I, has I actually have gas. a lot of gas. He does. I've been exactly. holding it in. When I get in my truck tonight, I'm going to fucking unload. No. I have no idea. <laughs> I have an idea. Need, need I might that. shit my pants. I don't know why boys talk about this so much. I don't. What, farting? I'll never yeah. understand. Like you funny. don't fart. Bullfrog <laughs> talks about it almost constantly. My, I don't um, understand. Put it, put it hilarious. This way. My two and a half year old daughter actually like her face turns red because she tries to fart to be like dad. Dad. She's like, <laughs> that's terrible. Oh Aww. my god. And when she that does, I'm like, don't have a fucking hernia. She you needs know, to be I nothing can, like you. I tell She's her, don't exactly do it like you. Yes. You get hemorrhoids. Yeah. You are. Yeah. You get hemorrhoids. That's what's on your sheet. You want to show off your tattoos? Are they in the place you can show them? Well, they're on the back of my arms. I don't want to take that wrap off. Right all right, now. All right. Uh, yeah. I'll I see you later. Surgical wrap. <laughs> Send it to me later. Just keep your dick out of the picture. <laughs> well, that's that's where Jenny no dick pics. I mean, um, I ran down your dick. <laughs> yeah. Did you say Jenny? Jenna oh. is written on my dick. Oh. It just says J. Until he's gone. <laughs> it's not big it's enough a, to write Jenna. It's a semicolon. <laughs> it's a semicolon. But then when I get excited, and it says Jennifer. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. With five ends. <laughs> <laughs> All capital. <laughs> that is just. He fabulous. wishes. Mm -hmm. So my my sister in law actually she was a uh, she worked in performing arts at St. Mike's. <laughs> Sorry. I said, but it's McCarthy, it's out now. Um, it's fine. Yeah, it's out now. It's fine. So she heard the same thing. Yeah. She was there by herself. Yeah. She, I'd love to get in there. It's the same it fucking out. time every day. Yeah. yeah. It's all what time? 4 30? Like in very re really four, four, around 4 30. Usually yeah. around 4 30 is when it happens. And yeah. there's at least probably eight or 10 officers since I've been there. In the morning? Every fucking yeah. morning. Yep. That's an hour. That's an hour off the witching hour. Yep. Yep. Is there anything else that goes off? In that building, uh, yes. Um, so there's a catwalk, so it's like 30 feet up, you know, and it's where they hang all the lights and shit. Mm -hmm. um, and people hear, you know, footsteps and stuff up there. But we have had a um, homeless guy who lived up there before, so I just say maybe it's him, but Possible. maybe it's not. Go check it out. We don't know. Yeah. But then there's probably like three other buildings on campus that have stuff going on in them. Yeah. So it's it's crazy since I started doing this in the same uh, for for them. Ever since people found out we were doing this. I hear so many stories on the regular now. Yeah. People that you wouldn't think have saw anything will come out to you and be like, oh, my God. Like, I can't wait to tell you my story. Right. And that's pretty cool. So there's way more than you, you could even imagine going on in just our little area. Yeah. Alone. yeah. So, I mean, even this, when this gets out, we're going to get, you know, hey, I want to get in touch with them. And I'm going to go, cool. Here's Jenna. Yeah. She will bug the fuck out of you. She but here she is. Go ahead. Talk to you. you know what I mean? Hey, yeah. hey, Absolutely. calm good down. Go. Good to go. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Uh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> I, at least I'm efficient. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. She, she puts the fish. Why'd she stare at you when. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. She just said, at least I'm efficient, and she was staring you down. When I'm going to stare at it. both y'all you know? motherfuckers when I say that. <laughs> so, no with more sunshine for that girl. <laughs> no, it's on a new level. They will call me up and they'll be like, wait, like the day of something. I've never been planning said it like something that. for yeah. like a month, and they'll she be like, what no. time do we have to be there? Yeah, because you know that's how we have to be there. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the most wrong. ridiculous it's thing wrong. ever. <laughs> it's like wrong. having yeah. two children. It's it's three crazy. children. Oh, so Martin's fine. Three then. children. No, no, no. Martin. You said these two, so Martin's okay. I'm a baby. I'm still breastfeeding. <laughs> yeah, he wears his baby new year. <laughs> and matter of fact, those things are starting to dry up, baby. Get that shit and we're done. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Hi we are live right now. With That's are good for you. That's just so just so you know, as much as we joke and everything, when it comes to the paranormal, and when you see us in action, we take what we do extremely so serious. seriously. Yeah. So, so I think that that yeah, I I That's I can a lot see of that. It's like our that. whole lives. I can see for all it's of fun us. to joke around. Yeah. I like oh, you guys. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. 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 we do take this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jokes. The joking part is one. But your job is actually your job. Right. right. Yeah. I and I think anyone who knows. Any of us personally can vouch for that. Mm -hmm. I respect that. I have one friend on Facebook. 
you're about to. His have name to is do. Martin. <laughs> it's actually Tom from MySpace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have no friends. I thought I dropped drink. Yes, you messed up. You forgot him. Uh, I blocked you. Yeah, I, was say, I had to make room. You were small enough to get under there, though. <laughs> It's too easy. It's too easy. It's just too easy. It's too easy. Too easy. So the show's coming out on, on Paraflix. Yes. Did I say that right? Okay. Yeah. How, how many episodes are going to be dropped in one? That's, that's well, yeah, our first pilot episode is going to air around Halloween. Nice. We'll release it when it does. Cool. It'll be on our social media. It'll be on Crossover Discoveries. We'll go from there. Can you give us any details about that episode it's gonna no. be fucking awesome it's i will tell you we no had sex. an experience we had <laughs> an experience no i don't scare easy i'll tell you i do not scare easy i mean i deal with the dark shit that's my thing i fucking we had an experience where i screamed like a tiny little girl yeah. so basically fuck halloween 50 and watch this on halloween instead yeah Absolutely. it's yeah. worth watching watch and i'll both. tell you and it's only no. gonna get better from there like we have some shit lined up that I'm so fucking excited about. We have a guy leading our team that I'm so excited to work with who has a vision that I can't even believe that I get Frank? to work with. Yeah. Seriously, no. that I can't even believe I get to work with. And his vision is, oh, is so amazing. The stuff that we have lined up is oh, going to be fucking you, brilliant. Thank you, thank you for this Oscar. I just want to go ahead. And <laughs> no, truly. I don't say that lightly. I, I really know. don't. I know. And, and uh, I appreciate it. You, know, you just, love me. It's, it's just, I, I'm, really I, me. I, I, I don't, I don't take compliments very well. You know that. And just, it, it makes me feel weird. It's right? going to be on a whole new level. Yeah. The stuff we have planned, I'll tell you, is going to be shit. <sighs> Go. Nobody's Would you ever dare seen. Say, well, I was going to say never before seen. I promise you, nobody's <laughs> Things ever. Things that we had to get permission for. <laughs> permission is. I mean, it's going to be on a new level. And I, I assume that this is actual real shit and not Hollywood shit. Yes, right, yeah. real shit. Yeah. The so, I mean, yeah. we're not actors. No, Frank but, might be an actor. Yeah, hey. Mark might be an actor. <laughs> He's a hey. We're not actors. We're coming. At this, as a group of paranormal investigators being well, filmed. That's, yeah. awesome. that's it. That's it. We're investigating one day. <laughs> and I, I just, I just didn't want to. When, when I come up with a con, I came up with the concept of crossover discoveries. I didn't want it to be like, you know, ghost adventures or ghost hunters. Mm -hmm. And although I admire those guys Absolutely. and what they've done, um, you know, they're brilliant in their craft. I thought that we should take it a different way because I'm so tired of watching all these paranormal shows come out and they're always doing the same thing: Penthurst, you know, blah 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 blah. And it's been done by every fucking show out there, and it's yeah. a network thing. Me, yeah. I wanted to take this with a group of people that I can trust to become like family like I have here and we actually approach this from a level that it's never been seen before um, to <laughs> actually way, show it. Bounced. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you think I sent you a check? <laughs> so, you know, with that being said, that's that's really the, the concept, you know, is, is to come at this with a different approach and something more viable. We're taking a little bit more of a scientific approach because I'm really into, you know, astrophysics, uh, you know, um, and, that, and that type of uh, formula to come at this versus just, you know, oh, it's like haunted. It. I got equipment. All mm -hmm. right. Let's like record it. it, you know? Yeah. So. I mean, when Frank laid it out for us, like what? what he has planned i was like oh fuck <laughs> and there's not a lot i'm like oh fuck about and so, i was wow. like no Big like time. they're gonna yeah, like we can <laughs> no like we can do this like they're gonna let us do this I, it's I gonna think, be I think awesome. at the pitch meeting you remember me saying i don't care whether they want us to do this or well, not i was <laughs> i was like blown away <laughs> Bryce, he met Bryce. me with that's my boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah. He's probably he probably hoping that you're like oh fuck. Dude. There we go. Put that right. What there. Bryce is probably like oh fuck. You. Put that you right. Like that. <laughs> he yeah. met me within yeah. the first five minutes and felt and she's like oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is huge. <laughs> she was but talking about his it. ego. <laughs> <laughs> but Martin, I have a question for you. I'm not Peter Dinklage. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Just what has, uh, it, what has it been like working with these guys and experiencing all this stuff? Yeah, Martin. 
It is. Good. It, I, I gotta say, it's actually kind of cool because even though I, I I don't, you know, I'm not a I'm not a believer yet. I I um I like I said, I do want to find out if, if if any of this kind of stuff is real, and if it's it is, then that then I know I've got something to look forward to, and I'll I'll be able to see my my grandma and my dad again someday. Um, you know, probably my mom if she goes before me, but that my mom's side of the family lives till they're like 90. So I'll probably precede her. So I'll have to be waiting on the other side, scaring the shit out of her. <laughs> but, you know, I, I, I would like to know that there is uh, another, you know, there is something after here. And that's why some people are still sticking around for whatever reason. We're going to make a believer out of him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's going to see some shit. Yep. He's going to see some shit. I'm definitely gonna watch because I, 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 I can't wait. I'm absolutely. Yep. I'm excited. Well, we actually and like I said, it's only gonna go up just for fun. Oh, I would, I would fucking love to go. Yeah. Like if I hooked this up, I would. Do I it. would love to go. Let's with you guys go. You should be there. Yeah. Can I? Can I go? Yeah, no. for sure. No. Come. Bring the refreshments. I, I somebody needs to get. Right someone needs to get adult diapers for me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he, he I'm on it. Yep. I have a pack. Yes. It's of course more, you do, more Frankie. Frankie. More Bullfrog, just uses a, <laughs> hey, Bullfrog just uses a uh, sleeping bag, so, you know, it's all good. Yeah. What the fuck does that mean? He just cuts the legs out, or cuts a hole in the bottom of the sleeping bag, and that's Bullfrog's fucking diaper. You're, you're being a real jerk, Martin, but I love you. <laughs> I love you. That's harsh. You know you do. Harsh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's harsh. I took his clothes off a of brat's doll. <laughs> 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 That's all good. <laughs> I love you, man. All right. When so, you come back. What? Are you guys We're done? Having... No, are you done? Oh, are you done? No, I'm just staring at this really cool. Clean those fucking sheets. Underdog poster I got today. Oh, well. oh, that's cool. So, and I'm afraid to take my shirt off because I don't want to see blood all over the place. Take it off. Take, take it, it off. off. Take it wow. off. Take it off. Uh, uh, uh. When gets home, when Jenny brown gets chicken, here. brown cow. Take it <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, when Jenny gets here, it'll all come off. <laughs> and all right. Gross. Right. Too. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to look for this first episode around Halloween. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And it's going to continue... Weekly from there, or uh, we're gonna try to come out with one. Uh, I, I kind of like how you see a lot of these different things. I, I want I want to leave you on suspense of mm -hmm. what I'm trying to create here. So we're gonna come out with a couple, and I think like three is what we had talked yeah. about. And then I'm gonna stop and see where it goes from there. And then and we're gonna go get Jack Osborne. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love Jack Osborne. <laughs> I do. I really do. Anyway, uh, and, and, and I'm just, uh, you know, I, I want I want people to really get obsessed with a concept before we keep, you know, pushing forward. Um, I, I think that's a, a good way for people to get wrapped into it, because, like I said, what we're doing isn't anything that's ever been done before on ta on camera. So we're starting out pretty easy with our, our first investigations, pretty easy because, you know, you don't want to jump people into exactly what we're doing right away because they just might freak them out. Because also, so, holy fuck with what we're going to do. Well, you, put we a, you, put a, you put a you put a frog in warm water and he'll blow himself to death, but you mm -hmm. put him in boiling water, he'll jump right out. Yeah. So, but we're not basically, basically, speak, basically just you just take people by the hand and you're just walking them into this uh, ceremony as to speak. And what comes out of the ceremony in the end will, oh, I guarantee you, be nothing you've ever seen yeah. on TV. We're trying to get people to wait. know us, you I know? Yeah. yeah. Plus, plus, we're still learning ourselves. You know what I mean? He's training us how to be safe about it. Yeah. We know it, we're yeah. about to get into some shit. Oh, know, yeah. We, know we're we can feel it. Like, both him and I have had conversations. Like, ever since I took this job, I've been waking up at three in the morning. Every single. But Martin's going first, right? Tears off the uh, off the sheets here. <laughs> no, they do that. Ew! For you. They'll do it for you. Okay. How many pubic hairs? Like uh, a lot? No, it was just two because I slept naked last night. But... <laughs> God bless you, sir. <laughs> Were they gray? Were they gray? No, they're black. 
girl. You got a shit. Lies. Bullshit. Bullshit there, Black. <laughs> yeah. were, 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 they even, were they even visible? That's uh, my only yeah. question. <laughs> you got to shave those off, man. You got to manscape that Thank shit. Thank you. No. Thank it, you. Actually, yeah, I've no, gone all manscaped. natural. Fuck no. That. no. Oh, yeah. thank you. You got to escape it. Yeah. I, I mean, I escaped, but. Nobody Outside wants a is... veritable forest of hair. Listen, some, some people Girls like it. Don't even do it like they used to. They, some people like it. So you might you wanna... leave it on there because they barely even, you know. Oh, get it together. I don't know who, <laughs> what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, you want so a lightning bolt or what are we talking about? Whole ten inches, huh? <laughs> Okay. Man, you must, uh, Martin must be amazing to investigate paranormal things with. He's He's funny. I I would love. It's one penis joke after another. (laughs) Punching people in the balls. Like, it's just. The pitter patter of little feet when he's scared of something. (laughs) (laughs) That's right. We did catch him running away. Bring it on, man. Let's go. Let's go. I must say, it must be really hard to nut, Martin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't think anyone's That's, ever. I just gotta tried. raise my foot up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I would accept that challenge. Yeah, I really would. Yeah. Bull, bullfrog, you're gonna be the first male to ever have a period when I get done with you. <laughs> no, you just have one all over your sheets, bro. I was just gonna say that. Well, you're the you're first the male. Kid. Congratulations. Your sheets all right. are all fucked up. <laughs> Please don't hurt me, Mark. Is that a sponsorship yeah. for Coca Cola right there, buddy? Oh, wow. Oh, it? Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Coca Cola and. Big old tampons. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe how much I'm bleeding. Yeah, I can. You seem like you have an attitude. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, we're all really excited to be watching this when all it comes right. out towards Halloween. Yeah. yeah. I can't wait. <clears throat> the link for this is going to be included in the description. It's going to be posted on all our social medias as well. Yep. Cool. Um, in closing, is there anything you guys would like to say? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Come, thy will be done as earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our trespasses as we forgive them who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. No, you hang on. Kingdom of God and glory is all. And whatever Wait, what? the fuck what? Pope John Paul we didn't do that. took away. And by In the line. way, make sure that you follow us on Instagram, uh, yes. Facebook. and We're not on Twitter yet, are we? No, I don't think so. I don't, I don't right. know. I'm so bad with I know we're in- Instagra- Instagram and Facebook. So we're gonna we link are. those as well. We'll, we'll link so, you yep. guys in our show notes yep. for all that stuff. And the Sweet. link to you guys can sign up on Paraflex right. to get the discount. They'll get a discount yep. uh, if they sign up on our link uh, okay. on with that link you gave us, correct. That's that Talk should that. be it. Should be also on the uh, Facebook site itself. Crossover discovery. Correct. Yeah. All mm-hmm. right. We'll link all that stuff in the show notes. It's going to be our on social medias. I can't wait. I'm super excited. Mm-hmm. Thank you guys. I, I, so I can't thank you guys for being here. You hang up. Really can't. You hang up. No, Mario, no, hang, no, hang up. Hang up. Right. Mario, call me. Call me. Right, I'm hanging up. Love Bye, you. <laughs> thank you guys so much for hanging out and telling us all about this. We can't wait to see it all, and we'll see you guys later on. Thank you. Thank right. you. Thank you.